Hello there, I'm an old guy and I do maths. Today we're going to look pretty quickly, I hope, at how we graph this function here. We'll make that function equal 0 and we'll make that equal 0 just so that it's very clear what we're doing. So, x squared plus 3x equals 0. This is not a quadratic trinomial. We nevertheless factorize it as best we can. Um, these are fairly easy to factorize. We take out a common factor, which is x. And we're left with x into x plus 3 equaling 0. How do we make this equal 0? Well, either this x equals 0 or this x equals negative 3. That's just null factor law at work. So we can take that information and pop it onto a rudimentary graph immediately. And we have two points of intersection here and here on the x-axis. And coincidentally, this is also the intersection of the y-axis, because if x equals 0, y will equal 0 in this case. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to find the axis of symmetry, which will give us the x-coordinate of the turning point, which is here, despite my poor drawing. And halfway between here and here is negative 3 over 2, or negative 1, 1 and a half. Take your pick, but this is probably easier to deal with. Now we can just do that by inspection. Halfway between here and here is negative 1 and a half. We can apply this little formula, negative b over 2a, and when we do that, this is b, and the coefficient of this is 1, So that is, and that is a. So that gives us negative 3 over 2 times 1, which is 2, which gives us this. Okay, so our next job is to take this information. So we've got one coordinate. We're looking for the second. And what we do is we simply put this into the equation. So here goes. So the equation is x squared plus 3x. So um, negative 3 over 2 squared plus 3 times negative 3 over 2. That's what we're doing. And we're looking to see what that equals. It does not equal 0 that's going to equal a number down here somewhere. It's going to be a negative number. So don't get suckered into that one. Okay, so negative 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4. Negative 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. That's how you do that plus 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 over 2. Now, um, there are various ways in which we can do this, but the simplest way is to do this. 9 over 4, so I'll just scroll down the page a little bit so you can see this. 9 over 4 minus we want this denominator to be the same as that, so we'll double it. And we'll do the same for the numerator, 18. And what that gives us is negative 9 over 4. That is what the y-coordinate is equal to. So we can enter that up here at negative 9 over 4. And there we are. That's done. Thank you very much for watching.